Remember the golden rule is treat others the way you want to be treated, but the platinum rule is treat others the way that they want to be treated. I don't know if you know this, but there's four different personality types out there. When you can catch them, you can go ahead and identify how to adjust your sales process. So we talk about overcoming objections. For example, the analytical personality probably isn't going to make a decision on that call. But when you can tell that they're analytical, which kind of sticks out, they like the numbers, they want facts, not feelings, they need to process the information, you can do things differently, like send them a video proposal so they can go back and review it. You can go ahead and send them their Google reviews for testimonies. They're looking for proof. So when you know that, you need to stop talking about what could happen or how awesome you guys are and start going into the cold, hard facts. Another personality type we have is the driver. They're very direct, quick, bullet points, not a lot of riffraff, boom, 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 right? And a lot of times people struggle with this because they feel like they're kind of jerks. They're not jerks, they're just high strung. If you can talk to them that same way, no problem, got this, 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 here's what we're gonna do, here's why. You drive with them, they're like, bam, you get me. When you start talking about, well, I'm not sure, could you send me this, could you send me your deck page? If you don't have the year of your roof, maybe you could look into that for me. They're like, ugh, draining, I just need things done. They move fast. They move swiftly because of this. So your driver, you have to adjust your personality too and just call the shots with them and they will appreciate that. Another one is we call it the amiable. These people are so nice. You're gonna love talking to them. You get off of a sales call and you think, holy macaroni is just gonna be like my new best friend. I swear, they're amazing. They asked me about my kids and my pet. We had this great conversation and you do everything quoted up, but they just don't make a decision because they're so scared of breaking up with their other agent or that they're making the wrong decision. And they just keep talking to you about nice things and you get kind of sucked into it. Like, I just like talking. They make me feel good. But you're gonna have to call some shots and start taking things away from them. Like, hey, your renewal's coming. I'm gonna have to close my file if we can't make a final decision here. You are gonna need to agitate them a little bit to get them out of their comfort zone, which is okay. Don't worry about that. The last one is the expressive, which I think is best because it's my personality type. But Remember the golden rule is treat others the way you want to be treated, but the platinum rule is treat others the way that they want to be treated. So it doesn't matter what I want. A sales is so little do what the salesperson wants. And it, yet in insurance, it's everywhere that we keep building things around what we think is best. No, don't do that. Mm. <laughs> Instead, what I want you to think through and think about is identifying that this person there, they like enough rapport building, but not too much. They like facts, but they don't need all of them. They're gonna go on a gut instinct. And if you keep them happy, you're gonna be a great referral source for you because they're gonna tell everybody. They tend to be a little larger than life, big personalities, but smart at the same time. And so what happens though is, it's like, if you say, we're gonna get you the quote by Tuesday, you get it Wednesday, like the bridge is burned. They're like, I'm trying to give you money. You're supposed to be impressive. Like you didn't communicate to me, this is crap. They kind of have high expectations and high standards, but they hold them of themselves as well. And so that's why, like little things like that matter. So as you're going through life, remember you have a direct, the driver, the expressive, the amiable, and the analytical. You do need to adjust your sales process based on those personality types. And once you see them, you won't be able to unsee them. Now, a lot of people are a blend of a couple of them, but there's a dominant one. And so your job is as you're seeing those cues, pick up on them, change your outcome, do the screen share so and then you can see. Speak in bullet points and email on bullet points for a driver. Do enough rapport building with an analytical person, but do what you say you're gonna do. And then amiable, make sure you're calling them into action because they're gonna need that kind of kick in the pants to get that going.